probably wondering how long does it take for me to become an expert as a dietitian so that you can make money, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't take as long as you think. I've got clients that become an expert in seven days, 30 days by following my proven method, and you can do that too. My name is Libby Rothschild, founder of Dietitian Boss. I show dietitians all over the world how to go from zero to creating a six-figure virtual private practice by using social media strategies that work. Let's get started. The first step in becoming an expert is getting started. Now, you know I'm a big fan of clarifying your message, and what that means is who are you talking to, what problem are you solving, and what's the solution, meaning the way that you solve that problem. So once you can get clear with the problem, solution, and outcome of your ideal client, you're one step closer towards marketing more clearly. And when you market clearly and decide to get started, then you are actually giving your uh, consumers and your ideal client and your market an advantage because consumers, they want to know how to solve their problems. And if they don't know that you exist as a resource, then they can't find you. And if they go to search you, consumers, meaning your ideal client, and they can't find a solution to their biggest problem and they don't know you exist, then you're not an expert and you can't help them. Not only are you gonna fail to make money and grow your business, but you're gonna fail to make impact. So the best way to become an expert and get started is to put yourself out there and allow yourself to evolve, allow your message to get more clear with time. Some of my clients are able to figure this out really quickly and they're, they're able to write out their ideal client based on my exercises and method and hit the ground running and get clients within seven days where other of my clients, they take a little longer. They might take 30 days to get their ideal client figured out. But as soon as that's completed and it, it, even a baseline, and you know who you're talking to and what problem you're solving and the solution that you provide for that clear transformation in your market, that's what's gonna help you attract more clients. Because the best way to become an expert is to show your audience, your market, your ideal client, show them that you are the number one resource to solving their biggest problem with a clear solution. When you can do that, and the sooner you can do that, when you can do that clearly and authentically, you're gonna attract clients and attracting clients and working with them is gonna help you become an expert. So you see, becoming an expert starts with getting clear with your marketing message. My second tip is to learn by doing. Now, if you followed any of my work and you know my philosophies, I'm not a fan of getting multiple certifications and piling up multiple degrees upon degrees without any actual practical application. I myself don't have a business degree, but what I did is I learned what my market wants and I become very in tune with their needs and what I teach is transferable. You don't need a business degree to be able to run or start or grow a six figure business or a seven figure business. What you need to do is understand what your market wants and give it to them. And that's rooted in marketing, very basic marketing principles. You become an expert, not by reading textbooks and getting certifications and masters upon masters upon another PhD. You're going to learn by actually getting clients in the door. And then once you have them in the door, you're going to learn just in time what they need and deliver that to them and be sensitive to their needs. Now, if you can adopt that mentality and you can allow yourself to learn as you go and really deliver great service to your clients so that you can get more, that's what's going to help you become an expert. You only hold yourself back if you think you need another certification or another master's degree or a PhD before you can actually get a client and help them. Remember, you're already the expert. You're a registered dietitian. You have a background in dietetics. You have what it takes to attract clients in a virtual setting, deliver service, and repeat. So I don't want you to hold yourself back by making up excuses that you need another certification or that you're not quite ready or that you're lacking confidence to be able to coach because you have what it takes to get started now. And after you help one client and then you have two clients and then you help five more, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to get that flow going. My third tip is focus on getting clients. When dietitians come to me, they say, I wanna get clients and I haven't been able to do it, so then they hire me, right? But when they start working with me, we set a revenue goal, which is something a lot of my clients haven't done before they start working with me. And when we set that revenue goal, could be your first $500,000 in your business, maybe your first 5,000 per month, what we do together is we focus on reverse engineering the activities that you need to do on a regular basis that are gonna help you get to that first 
100, 500, 1000, 5000 dollars per month faster. Because what I notice is that many of you firstly don't set revenue goals, so you're you're lost and you're not aligning your activities with an outcome because you don't have an outcome, right? Or if and when you do set a revenue goal, you're not really sure how to get there faster. So a big part of the work I do is helping you identify what's the outcome you want to achieve. And then we break down the steps you need to take to get there. And I help keep you focused and accountable to strategically conducting those steps on a regular basis so that you can hit your revenue goal faster. So when you focus your time, energy, and efforts on the outcome that you've set out and individualized for your personal business, well, it's amazing how you can achieve it. My fourth tip is to adopt a growth oriented mindset. Now this might be my best tip yet. I recommend the book Mindset by Carol Dweck, and she has a model that focuses on fixed versus growth mindset. And what she says is that fixed is when you hold yourself back and you say things such as, you know, I can't do it, or I had a slow week, or I didn't make a sale, or that post on Instagram didn't perform well, didn't get any website clicks, right? So when you say things that are fixed, you're holding yourself back and you know being negative. And instead, what Carol Dweck suggests in her model is to shift from a fixed mindset to a growth-oriented mindset. So you're taking your words and thoughts and reframing them to something positive, such as post it on Instagram, and I'm so proud of myself for being consistent. I learned from my insights. And what I learned is A, B, and C, and next time I'm going to shift so that I can reach more website clicks. So the whole point here is that you are reframing your thoughts into something positive, and that's going to help you grow faster in your business and also set an example for your colleagues, because when we're positive together and we develop an abundant mindset, especially in the midst of other virtual practitioners, then we can encourage each other, prevent isolation and really move forward in our business so that we're really clear on being consistent towards taking those small actions to reach our goal. Remember I said focusing on setting those goals and then making sure that the actions you're taking align with achieving that goal is made possible when you adopt a growth oriented mindset. My last tip is community. Surrounding yourself with other like-minded people is completely underrated. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I want to redo that quote in my own version and say, you are the average of the five dietitian bosses you spend the most time with. My group program, I support dietitian bosses around the world growing a virtual practice. And when you're around like-minded women who have the same goal as you, then you work together and that prevents isolation and helps you identify your fixed mindset and shift towards a growth mindset. And that's going to help you grow together, grow with your colleagues. And that's going to help you develop lasting relationships and networks working community on your way towards hitting your goals. When you're seeing your colleagues achieve and exceed their goals and be consistent with the steps it takes to get there, you're more likely to follow suit. So having that community and not just any community, but a specific community of like-minded dietitians in a virtual setting, really helpful thing to commit to as you're becoming an expert. So in closing, if you're looking to become an expert so that you can attract clients faster decrease anxiety and overwhelm and become more efficient so that you can help more people and make more money, I invite you to apply to my group program. I work with dietitians all over the world and show them how to go from zero to building a six-figure virtual practice by following my proven method.